What is going on guys? My name is Paul. Welcome back to this video. In this video, we're gonna be building fork extensions for my forklift. So let's get right into the video.
All right, so I got the forks built. Already got them lifted. They already st stick out. Not even bending. But in reality, I, I had good luck with that even the extensions. Uh, the extensions, the main purpose of them is whenever I load up my trailer with trash. Um, it's, I have to always like put it in and push it. But with these forks, I'll be able to, and I'll bring it inside and show you a little bit in close up, but this one's going back, or this one's going on the lift right now. So it's gonna be part of that next week. As you can see, there's about four or five inches of clearance and I could move out a little bit but the back end already comes up a little bit these vans are a little too bulky I really there's another one but I really don't lift these vans from the front I mean you, if you're familiar with Copart and stuff you know which forklifts they use for this stuff but this is a five five thousand pound capacity the unit itself is like nine thousand six hundred or somewhere in that region and the vehicle is about four and a half to five thousand and it handles it just fine so let's bring this vehicle in and I'll show you what I've, do, I've done there too as you can see it's pretty straight it may be kind of slowly bowing out but that's kind of expected so let's bring this vehicle in and I'll tell you more about my forks all right here they are I already used uh, lift up three four cars as you can see, I tapered them. I also made them so they can't come up. Right now, I just have a bolt in here. Yeah, as you can see, I have a bolt that hits the end of the fork. It can't really come in anymore because it's gonna raise it up and the bolt's actually providing it from, pre preventing it from going up. Um, I'm gonna replace these bolts with the uh, trailer hitch pins, a uh, five inch one, and it's gonna be perfect. I already, my truck has one, I kind of made it for that. I just don't have it with me. And then I made the bottoms, I just welded in. Well, let me pull one off, maybe be able to show you. But I really needed this, this extensions. Not necessarily for moving cars like this in and out, but for the purpose of loading my trailer with trash. I have a little bit of flexibility of how far, because the vehicles are about, Frame-wise, about 67 feet long. The vehicle, I think, is six feet. Um, the actual fork is about 80 inches. My forks are pretty much four foot long, and I added another three feet. Whenever I'm gonna be loading and unloading, I'm never gonna really try to put it right on the edge. A lot of times, you might even see it. So see, this is where the car cut well. Can't really, oh yeah, there you go. So this is where the the frame rail actually sits on. So I wanted to make him shorter, but I thought, well, I can make him longer if I don't like him. I can just shorten him down a little bit. If this edge bends down a little bit, I just, because this is where this line is my uh, first measurement that I want to do, but I just decided to add a little more to it. They're easy to, easily removable, which I'm gonna just have a, Pin. I mean a bolt's actually nicer because I can tighten it up a little bit and it stays there. They're pretty heavy. This stuff is not so this is what I did on the back side. See how it's tapered? So I I got this uh, 3 8 thick flat stock. The thing is you can't really buy anything in the middle. It's either a five inch or a four inch. So this is a four inch and it's not enough because this is a five inch. The welder did just fine. At the bottoms, it's way better. And the only reason I did this, I think if my engineering head works and if some of your engineers and you could say if this helps, um, the only reason I did this so to pr help it not to bend, but have a little bit of flexing just because it's tapered. But yeah, this thing, I would have to guess it's close to like a hundred pounds. There you go. So it's a five inch uh, C channel. And I just chopped off this, which is pretty thick in this area. And it kind of tapers down a little bit. So it works. 
So let me go grab the scale so we can weigh this. All right, we got our scale. Well, I guess it's not as heavy as I thought. So about 75 pounds. And then putting in the back end, all I do is just raise them up. Slide it in its spot. So yeah, this pin right here, this is what I kind of designed it to be. And all you do is just put the pin in. And it's just, just the correct amount of space for the clip. And that's it. And these are pretty snug. Um, that was kind of my goal. I mean, it comes with the, you can't lift it up at all. You can't pull it off, you can't push it in. It's pretty much, there's about a quarter of an inch of play where I can move it back or forth. And that's about it. So really happy with this idea. So if somebody needs forks, copy. And I'll probably do an update on this after a year or so, just to show you guys how they handle. Because the ones I got from eBay or Amazon, wherever my forks ended, it literally just like bend every time. And the longer you work with them, and then you have to drive over them with the forklift to even them out. And I think the reason they're kind of slightly bent is because when I was welding that thick, um, like quarter inch thick, or not quarter, three eighths thick. See how thin this is compared to that. See how long they last. So these are only built to move cars. I'm not going to be putting stuff on the shelves. They're way too long for that. So that's kind of the only reason. And then whenever truck drivers show up, especially with the car holders, um, a lot of times I can't scoot the vehicle towards the edge of the trailer. So these would actually be perfect. And that's kind of why I added this right here. Just to be able to uh, bring the vehicle as close to me as possible. Because a lot of those trailers, like the wedges, there's just so much till you hit that edge on that other side. There's just so much you can do. So what we do is just we lift them up. I mean, something like this, it's a little sketchy, even having it on the edge because the back end comes up. Uh, you can feel it. it does, I mean, it still sits there, but you can kind of feel that it, it, it wants to come up. So I'm going to be trying to do at least two a week, sometimes three. It all depends on time I got and hopefully Hopefully uh, this and this year uh, we're gonna wrap up all our shelving um, in our shipping station. I really need to get take care of that. I also gotta make some money, so that's kind of the plan here. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope all of you are having a wonderful day, a wonderful night, evening, morning, whatever, whenever you're watching this. And I hope you guys stay safe out there, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.